Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video. We're here at Bondi and I wanted to make a quick video explaining to you why I love this country. I've been to 46 countries uh, in the last few years all over the world. Europe, Asia, America, up, down, west, left, everywhere. Um, I definitely plan to go to more, obviously. But there's something about this place that always gets me coming back. It's not because it's home, because technically, actually, I wasn't born here. I was born in Iran, and I spent my childhood there. So I thought I'll put down five reasons why I think this place is the best country in the world, and maybe why you should potentially consider living here or experiencing here. Um, and I don't want to put any other country down. I'm not saying your country sucks. What I'm trying to explain is that why I think this is the best and like why it suits me and why I love living here. Um, yeah, so don't feel offended. Don't kill me in the comments. And uh, let's just jump right into it and start with number one. Oh Jesus, my back still hurts. All right, so when it comes to a country, the number one thing, I guess the most important thing is the people. One of the reasons I love this place is because of the people. The people in this country are amazing. And I've been to so many amazing countries, you know, like with friendly people like Thailand, Philippines, uh, a lot of places in Asia, some places in Europe. You know, there's been like a lot of places that I've been and the people are super friendly, but it's still not as friendly as here. Now, hey, hey what's going on? See, this is what I'm talking about. People are just chill here. You know, in France, I got attacked for doing this vlogging. Here, people are just chill. Now, I guess, let me explain what, what I mean by people are nice. Um, people are friendly, easygoing, and they don't really care too much. They're not super egoistic or anything like that. It just, it's very, it's a bit hard to explain, but basically people are just easygoing. That kind of makes it one of the least racist countries in the world. You might disagree, uh, you know, in the media or whatever, or people, or you might have heard anything. But unless you live here, you won't know. A lot less racist than US, uh, most of Northern Europe. So definitely is a plus because the people living in the country make up that country. Like if, if it's not because of the people, I mean, what else is there, right? There's nothing else. So that's why I think the people are amazing here. And it just makes it so much easier to, to just live your life, go around, make friends, uh, get along with people at work. Just, you know, if you're in an issue, you got an issue or you got something going on somewhere, people will just help you. People are generous. So they, everyone just gets together and helps out when there's a situation. You know, we had like, I think it was like $50 million donated. In a, in a couple of months for bushfires because people just came together and helped the communities and I think that's amazing you know if, if something happens to you right now you got no money you can get somewhere people will help you and get to you know help you out and get you where you need to go and I think that's, that's beautiful that's amazing so this is why I love living here that's number one let's jump right into number two all right, so the second reason I mentioned was quality of life and I'd say work-life balance in general. Now, the definition of quality of life, just look it up for you, the standard of health, comfort, happiness experienced by an individual or a group, essentially, in the society. So, why I say that quality of life is super high here because we've got healthcare. If you're sick, you're not gonna die. They look after you, essentially. It's because we pay our taxes and we'll get into that later. But in terms of comfort, yep. If you have any sort of job, you can live a comfortable life. Um, to be honest, even if you don't have a job, you can live a comfortable life because the government pays you to look for a job and some people don't, which is, you know, not cool. But anyway, that's a, that's a video for a different story for another day. And happiness, at the end of the day, because people are comfortable and have a good quality of life, they're happy as well, and uh, they can enjoy their life. That's why I think 
the quality of life is super high here. Um, the food quality is amazing. The, we got we got a mixture of people from all over the world. Um, so we essentially get to experience people and, and, and you know food from all over the world. And there is no there's no limit to it. You know we got people from literally everywhere in Australia. So quality of life is very important, and uh, yeah, you got it high over here. So I think part of the reason is that because we've got a minimum wage that's actually acceptable and people can actually live off it. Uh, meaning, let's say, I think it's just over $21. If you make $21 an hour, you can actually live a comfortable life. You know, you can get a room, you can get a small apartment potentially, um, but you can get a room, get your groceries, get your train ticket, bus ticket, get to work, go around, lots of free activities, so you can actually do that and not spend any money and therefore live a happy life. All right, well that was number two, quality of life. Number three is income versus expenses and opportunities. And I think that one's a big one because, you know, I touched on this a little bit earlier on number two, um, but you can earn a minimum wage which is livable and if you have any sorts of ambitions, you can actually earn more very quickly. You know, I started working when I was 17. I was making $15 per hour at McDonald's as a 17 year old. And soon after I started DJing, taking photos um, and jumping up to different, uh, different corporate world and then co corporate companies and different uh, higher incomes basically. So in terms of job opportunities, if you are keen, there are a lot of jobs available. You can work in any kind of like your average, easy to get bar, restaurant, cafe um, type of job very easily without even speaking English very well. You know, I, I know a lot of people who do. But if, you, if your English is good and if you have um, any sort of skills, you'll be able to essentially just start working and make a good living. And I, by, me, by that I mean above standard levels, above your, your average levels which is great and you know essentially you can start any company you want if you have the tools and um, and the I guess the resources available to you if you don't you go up online and search what's going on what's up what's up <laughs> there you go so what I mean by that is essentially the opportunities are available to you you just need to go out there put your head together and start it and make it make it happen it's all in your um, it's all in your I guess hands you can do whatever you want all right well that was number three let's jump right into number four so before I jump into number four I just met Jessica she's from Canada from Vancouver and she's just been here for two weeks so uh, there you go you just make friends just like that how amazing is that number four is the weather which she was complaining about because it's been raining for the last few days but today is nice and I think it's gonna stick around for a while Overall, the weather is amazing. Overall, we know we have our crazy days, we have our crazy rains, we have our crazy heat and crazy cold. But overall, the weather is amazing. Let me explain more. All right, so if you look up online the weather in Sydney, throughout the year, in summer, clear, beautiful, not too cold, not too hot, and in winter, not too cold only. So basically, throughout the year, the weather is quite nice. Meaning, the temperature range is usually from, I would say in winter around eight uh, to 14, 15. And in, win and in summer, between 15, 18, maybe 18 to 26, 28. So over the whole year, you get beautiful weather pretty much all the time. And what's not to love about this weather? I think what makes it really different, probably the best, is you know when you're like in a hot place, generally it's humid, right? So you actually feel more hot, you feel sticky, gross, and you just feel like you can't breathe. Over here, when it's hot, even when it's super hot, because it's not humid, it's dry weather, you get uh, a really nice weather and you don't feel the heat, essentially. Um, also, you don't sweat like crazy and you don't, um, you don't feel sticky right so that's very important and in winter because it's not wet it's not dry it's, oh it's not humid it's dry 
you don't feel so cold. So even though it's cold, the temperature is quite low, let's say 8, quite low, um, you don't actually feel like it's 8. You probably feel more, I don't know, 4 or 5 degrees higher. So you don't really freeze to death. And you can still come to the beach on a winter day and you'll see many people surfing and chilling. And wow, look at the waves. The waves are looking quite beautiful today. Very good waves today for surfing. So yeah, that's why I think the weather is so important because look, you can be in heaven, but if the weather is not good, you're probably not in heaven, right? That's what I'm saying. Weather is very important. Top two probably, people and the weather. All right, well that was number four. Let's jump right into number five. All right, well last but not least, it's the landscape and the nature that you get over here in Australia. Obviously because it's an island, it's been you know, separated from the rest of the world for a long time. So the, 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 you know, the actual animals and the nature, it's totally unique. So it looks very different from everywhere else. Meaning, it's beautiful. The other thing is also that it's balanced. Meaning, you know, I love living in a city. I love living in a big city, with, surrounded with lots of people. But I also like to get away and go camping to somewhere remote or somewhere that there's not that many people. Um, and I can do that in Sydney. I feel like it's, it's a perfect balance between a city life where you've got like five, six million people living in a city um, quite, you know, with long buildings and um, skyscrapers and, you know, train and metro and all the proper systems that you need to live in a city. Um, but also, if you drive for like an hour or two hours, you get to this beautiful, massive national park with like, there's not many people there. There are lots of spots that you can go camping right next to the beach, like two hours from Sydney. You're camping on the beach, you wake up on the beach looking at the sunrise. Um, on the weekend you can do that like how amazing is that I think that balance between nature and and society and the hustle and bustle makes it quite unique because you can actually escape if you get sick of the nature you come back to the city if you get sick of the city you go to the nature and and I noticed that a lot of a lot of places are possibly different because what, it, what happens is if it's a city big city usually it's just a city and you need to go quite far to get to a uh, like a remote area and if it's a remote area it's quite far from the city so yeah here it kind of balances it out for you and if you're like me who gets sick of things quite quick um, you can balance your life and just go and explore different places and and see this amazing size of you know Australia um, and and yeah gonna go explore there's a bonus part, number six, I'm actually not going to put it in there as a point, but I quite love the fact that flights are quite cheap from here to Asia, and I think Asia is like the most extreme adventurous part of the world to travel. I noticed that after I visited Europe and the um, US and everywhere else. So I feel like Asia is more extreme than anywhere else. If you're an adventurous traveler, you know, living in Australia is an adventure itself, but also you can take a $200 flight and go up to Thailand or Vietnam and come back. Um, so $100 each way, which is quite cheap. And obviously when you get there, it's super cheap too. All right, well that's it basically. All the five points that I, I think uh, make Sydney or Australia a great place to live. Um, and on the top of all that, I think the top two would be the people and the weather. All right, well that's it. If you enjoyed this video, like, share, subscribe. I'll see you in the next week for the next video. But I also want you to tell me if you've been to Sydney and what your experience has been in Australia in general. Or if you are planning to come to Australia, what do you think? What are you afraid of? Let's start a conversation. I might be able to answer some of your questions. Um, and from there, yeah, hit me up on Instagram at Real Black Box when you are in Sydney and we'll catch up. Done. Let's do it. All right, see you next week.